All right, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery back with another Nobel Peace Prize winning edition of uh, this video series. All right, what we're going to talk about now is back charges. All right, now th there's only one thing you need to understand about back charges is that there's got to be a right to them in the contract. Often, Someone will say, uh, your client will go, oh, hang on, you caused that damage, you did this, you didn't do that, I'm back charging you. Now, you cannot just back charge. The contract has to expressly say that, and it's called, more formally, a right to set off. I can set off or deduct Amounts I think you owe me from amounts I owe you. So you've done $20,000 worth of work, I'm back charging you, I'm setting off 2,000 for defects or something, so I owe you 18. That's how it works. Now, back charge is in fact a slang. It's not a legal term, it's just a slang uh, uh, term that's uh, sort of developed in the industry. But let's use it because everyone does use it, but that's what it is. It's a right, it's a set off. Now, in the contract, your client must have a right to set off, and you'll see in bigger contracts, there'll be a phrase, something like, um, under the payment uh, progress payment section, that the client can deduct uh, monies on account of defects, etc., etc. The client can uh, deduct monies owed by the contractor to it from monies it owes the contractor. Anytime you see that type of sentence in there, that is a right to set off, which means they can make those deductions, they can apply back charges. But what about all that work that's done where the contract is your quote. Here's a quote, yeah, like your quote, get working on it. Now I would hope that your quotes, terms and conditions doesn't include a right to set off and if it does you're mad and you're an idiot. And I'll bang you on the head if I could reach through the screen. But anyway, you wouldn't have that in your quote. So when you do that work where your quote is the contract effectively, your client can't back charge you because it's not an express term of the contract. Now this is news to most contractors when I tell them this, they go, oh, I thought anyone could back charge, they could just... No. You have a right to the full value of the work you've done. If your client wants to deduct monies, they have to run a separate action, a separate claim, sue you in court or a separate something or other to have that money deducted from your payment. Other than that, they have no entitlement to set off. All right? So um, just be very, very clear uh, on that key distinction. So when you're reviewing contracts, one of the first things I look for is, is there a right to set off? And you'll find that normally in the um, payment clause, there might be a separate clause actually called <coughs> right to set up, right, sorry, right to set off. There might be a separate one called actually back charges. I've seen that a few times. Uh, it might just be a sentence buried somewhere in the payment clause. So look for that, look for it, and see if there's a right to do it. And you can be assured that they'll uh, that they'll try and impose it if there is a right uh, to it. The final thing I'd say about back charges is be very careful of a phrase that says they can deduct monies uh, from monies they owe you. They can deduct monies uh, that you owe them. If I've got that right, and then there's a phrase that says. Under this contract, under this contract, or otherwise. Now, those two words, or otherwise, very dangerous. It means that, let's say you're doing two jobs for them, they can go, well, hang on, I'm going to back charge you from job B, and I'm going to apply that back charge on job A, because it says I can back charge you under this contract, or otherwise, which means anything. Now I've picked this up for clients and have actually struck it out and said, you go to your client, you say that word, come, those two words come out. And there's been a huge flurry of activity, letters from lawyers, a huge fight over those two words. And it just shows how much um, dastardly clients want to rely on that little thing to just back charge you anything. You know, you busted a bus down the road uh, a month ago, I'm gonna back charge you. Well, the bus isn't under our contract. Yeah, it isn't, but I'm gonna pull that off your contract anyway. That's literally what that means. All right, so be very careful. Just to summarise, first of all, no one can back charge unless there's an express right to set off in the contract. That's where you'll probably find it. 
if you see this phrase under back charge you or set off under this contract or otherwise, those words have to come out and uh, just be very aware of it. So this is part of your contract review up front um, uh, when you're uh, tendering or quoting to your client. And in your quotation, if you do work under your quote, you can be very confident that there's no right to set off. So you can just send those back charges back to your client. Any questions or queries, give us a call. Number is at the bottom of the screen. Other than that, I'll see you next time.